Dr. Omar Ture, President of the ECOWAS Commission, says the formation of a sub-regional standing force by the bloc will address any disintegration and existential threat before it. Our region have never experienced simultaneously so many, uh, many challenges for uh, many years. Indeed, uh, in addition to the uh, various threats to peace and security, and the, the, the challenge related to uh, poverty, our region is also uh, facing the uh, risk of integration. Because, as you know uh, very well, on the uh, 29th of uh, January, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger uh, officially notified the Equals Commission of their desire to exit ECOWAS with immediate effect. Our people, the people of West Africa, are living in an integrated community for so many years. The president of the commission said the ECOWAS has already opened dialogue and negotiations with three Sahelian states to persuade them to rescind their decision to quit. It is evident that the, the disintegration would uh, affect not only uh, the free movement and establishment of people, but this will also worsen uh, security in our region. More specifically, the withdrawal of the three uh, countries will, be, will deal a deadly blow uh, to cooperation in ECOWAS, especially in terms of the sharing of intelligence and the uh, participation in the fight against regional terrorism and other joint initiatives relating to security. The withdrawal of these three countries could also lead to diplomatic isolation, uh, diplomatic and political isolation on the international scene. Uh, th this withdrawal will affect the uh, traveling and immigration conditions of the citizens of these three countries. Uh, these three countries we will have to stop using ECOWAS passports. The, uh, the national uh, biometric uh, ID cards and the, uh, the brown uh, insurance card that is used within the region. In the economic and financial fronts, the withdrawal could lead uh, to uh, stopping or suspending all the programs that are undertaken by ECOWAS in these countries, and of which the value is uh, uh, estimated at around 500 million US dollars. It is important also to say that the two regional financial regional institutions, that are the uh, EBIT and the BOAD, have very uh, huge investments in these three countries. Uh, EBIT has uh, 27 uh, projects in these uh, three countries of a total value estimated at about uh, 321 uh, million US dollars. Uh, out of 38% are uh, public uh, projects and 61% and are uh, projects uh, for the private sector. On the institu institutional front, it is important to note that the withdrawal of these three countries will lead not only to the uh, closing of the uh, uh, four regional uh, ECOWAS institutions in Burkina Faso, uh, the two uh, regional institutions based in Mali, and a regional office of ECOWAS in Niger, this will also affect the uh, security of uh, employment of about 130 of, uh, uh, officials of ECOWAS. ECOWAS will be, will be 50 years 
in May 2025. We have commenced plans to celebrate and mark this golden jubilee. It is our considered view that we need to use the opportunity to take stock of our progress and challenges over the past 50 years and draw the lessons for the future. Your role in this exercise will be crucial and I know I can count on your continued collaboration. 